family is hoping the search for a stolen truck leads to the real missing treasure that was located inside. This is a keepsake that wouldn't be really important to anybody else. But as our David McAnally explains, it means the world to a grieving family. Here's the missing pickup truck they're looking for. 07 Ford F-350, red, uh, with uh, diamond plate toolbox in the back of it. Brand new tires on it as well. The red truck, stolen from a business where owner Jonathan Cook had it parked on the west side this week. That valuable pickup truck still missing from the parking spaces back here. The valuable tools that were inside, they totaled more than $1,000. Those are valuable. They want those back too. But the one other very valuable item of great sentimental value, that's the thing that can't be replaced by the insurance company. A necklace with her ashes in it, uh, very valuable, irreplaceable. This necklace, photographed before the theft, the truck owner, Jonathan Cook, kept it near him in the truck. It contains his mother's ashes. His friend, Nick, told us. He always drove that truck, so he kept with him. His mom died three, three months ago, so it's not even, I think, quite hit him yet. It's not the emotion, emotional state hasn't got over yet. We're just still working through that process. His mother's death was unexpected. The high winds that October day that damaged power lines and houses in the metro area also brought the limb down from a tree that struck and killed Jonathan Cook's mother. Members of the family shared her ashes. One niece had them placed in this necklace, a dolphin. Jonathan had his in the cylinder, now missing. I just hope he can man up, bring the truck back. Who cares if it's middle of night, especially that necklace. That's what we're really hoping for. The pickup truck disappeared from this business on West Washington Street on Tuesday afternoon. There are some video surveillance cameras in the area. Police will no doubt be checking them. If you have information, call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.